morning, European traders, Privateer FX coming at you one day before non-farm payrolls and European inflation tomorrow, don't forget. We're sort of marking tomorrow as the first big, important, and really the starting point for Forex trading 2018. There's still some money to be made today. So let's get into it here. FOMC minutes last night, you could characterize them as mildly hawkish. Mainly because it was there was a dovish reaction in December at the meeting. And the minutes were balanced. But because there was a slight dovish edge to it, we had a mildly hawkish reaction. Dollar yen went up to 112.60 and then followed up to 112.77 last night. Euro dollar now traded down to 120 for the third time. So, considering we have non farms tomorrow, we do like the dollar to go higher today. So, if you look what hap what's happening at cable here, nice little bearish bar yesterday that caught people a little bit off guard. There's going to be risk below 134.95. So we're looking for this to trade. We're trying to get short cable in front of 135.50 for a further move lower. Eventually, to touch this trend line, I don't think today is the day that's just too far. Uh, but this is an important line. Euro dollar, same type of bar yesterday. So we had the first day bullish bar, second day bearish bar. Who's going to win on this? Uh, I think the bears are going to win on this, and we're going to we're going to sneak through 120 today. Not tons of conviction. I don't think this is the new trend or anything. I just think that before an FP dollar tends to appreciate, and we're going to just sort of maybe print a 119.70 low today. So just grab cash on the euro short if it materializes and go into NFP and European inflation square tomorrow. The conundrum in euro is, of course, European inflation is going to come out higher tomorrow. NFP is probably going to come out higher. Where does euro dollar go on that? Mm, not too clear. Speaking of European inflation and what will move that is... What will move on that is Euro Yen. 135.60.63 is important. We're mid range here at 36. I know we've been buying Yen the last couple of days, but based on yesterday's price action, we're abandoning that idea and we're taking a much more balanced look at this. I still believe that more than likely, the stale yen longs, your yen longs from last year are going to get clipped below 134.50. But prices above 135.63 are clearly a bullish signal. So keep that in mind. Bitcoin, just steady. 15,100. Not a lot to do there. Volatility has fallen slowly but surely. We will get a move down through 10,000. Be prepared for that. Have your bids in 9,400, 8,400, 7,400, 6,400. Because this is so insane, when news comes out, you have to put some insane orders in and use your imagination and just before you do it, think how you're going to feel about owning Bitcoin at 9400 if it's trading at 6400 and price accordingly. You, know, you have to price for 50% moves when things are going crazy. So there's our Bitcoin. Dollar Swiss, pretty bullish day yesterday. Euro Swiss and Dollar Swiss higher. And that usually that gives it extra juice to Dollar Swiss. Not much to do with that one there though today, so we're just gonna sort of 
see if we can get up to 98.30, but this kind of bullish action will help Euro dollar get through 120. Aussie's bid. Don't know why. Don't really understand this. But it should be a fade up at 79 the figure <coughs> first time. So we're 40 points away from that. This is a sell. 79 the figure. We'll see if we can get up there. One of my colleagues is telling me Dollar Cat is uh is interesting through 125 the figure. I'm not so sure, but this guy is a pro, so I'll just pass it on to you. Um, nice round number. Could Dollar Cat go further lower? I guess so. Um, no real strong interest, but I'm passing you this secondhand information from one of my esteemed colleagues who's an excellent trader. Ethereum. Ball still the wall still. That thing's going to break a thousand. Really no stopping it now. And what else? Uh, let's look at our caterpillar. We got what we wanted yesterday, and then we got a little bit what we didn't want, but here we are. We got lower lows, lower highs, but a little bit of a tail here. Your stop has to be above 159.11, oh, well, 159.39, the high from January 2nd. We'll see. Doesn't look that great, I have to say. But a lot's going to happen in the next two days. Stocks are bid. Clear through 2700. 2713 now. Don't understand that. Our short entries at 2667 never got done. We are not fading this. So, just watching, waiting, lurking. Alright, I've said enough. Good luck today, guys. And I'll see you at the New York Open.